This audio series is the property of the radio advertising people. Use of this audio is restricted and permission must be sought before use. This audio series is rated 80. Contains strong language. Parental guidance is advised. Episode 9. Yo, mommy, who the fuck was that? That's none of your business, Derek. Who asked you to come out? I have every right to come out. I'm not hiding from anyone. You are in my room, so it's my rules. You see the mess you've caused? The mess I caused? You're fucking two guys. That's the mess you've caused. Who says I'm fucking him? So why the hell is he upset? How the hell am I supposed to know that? Don't you lie to me, mommy. Ah, I don't have anything to do with him. I'm also surprised he's acting up. Besides, Derek, I don't owe you any really? explanations. Really? Really, mommy? You don't owe me any explanations. I don't owe you, Jack. I drove all the way to come see you and some random man walks up to your room. It's, it's clear you and me have something going on and you're telling me you don't owe me any explanations. I have told you the truth, which I'm not supposed to. So what's your problem? I don't fucking believe this, mommy. You're so fucking changed. In the heat of the argument with Derek, there was another knock on the door. Mommy, is everything okay? It was Joe. Another one? Derek, leave my room. Leave my room. Mommy, what's going on? Joe, please, not now. Go. I'll call you later. You're throwing me out of your room? Derek, just leave. Okay, cool. Derek took his phone and wallet and walked out of the room. I made Joe leave and locked my door. What a mess. Hello, uh, mommy, are you coming? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I just had a small delay. I'm coming. Okay, okay, hurry. My move be spoiling, eh? But you, come to the pharmacy shop area. I'm buying some cough mixture for her. Hey, Ifwa, <laughs> don't worry, I'm on my way. My plan was to tell Ifwa what happened because the last thing I wanted was to come in between she and Mr. Ankara because honestly, I didn't understand what was going on with this man. So I decided to wait a while and call him later to talk about this. But coincidentally, guess who Ifwa met on her way to the pharmacy shop? Uh, hi, please. Um, where is the nearest filling station uh, around this area? Um, you would have to drive down this road and make a left turn. There's a shell station there. Ah, oh, thank you so much. I'm kind of new in this area. Oh, wait, is is that your daughter? Yes. Uh, Wendy, say hello to Uncle. Say hello, Uncle. Hey, Wendy. <laughs> oh, no, I don't think she's in the mood today. I know, right? These kids can shy us sometimes. That's not okay. Anyway, my name is Derek. And you are? I'm Efwa. Nice ride. Is that the newest model? Oh, no, this is actually the one after yours. Derek and Ifwa were both driving Range Rovers. That's where the connection began. Oh, I see. It's really nice. I was actually planning on selling mine to buy some of yours. Oh no, I think you should stick to yours. Your model is better. I mean, it has better fuel efficiency and all. I used to have one like that. Me? I don't know too much about cars. Once the color and the shape is nice, dear, I will go for it. That's typical of women. (laughs) Yeah. I see you're not from around here. No, um, I actually just got into town for some business, you know. Business as in work or...? No, not work per se, but I, I had to come and see someone. But for a young girl like you to be pushing a whip like this means a lot. Why? You think girls like me can't afford their age? You're definitely not a salaried worker. I'm a student, but I have my ways. Clearly. But, you know, um, I'm in town for a few days, like a day or two. Um, would you mind if we could meet up for dinner before I leave or something? That's that's if you don't mind. You know. Well, okay, sure. You said your name was Derek, right? Yes, and uh, here's my card. All right, I will call you later this evening around like 7 p.m. I will be honored. If we are right? Yes, if we are. All right, see you later then. Then Derek drove off. A few minutes later, I arrived and met up with Ifwa. I brought her daughter to my hostel. Then I called Mr. Ankara. Hello. Hi, sir. Good evening. Yes, good evening. 
I I'm sorry for what happened. <laughs> if if I offended you in any way, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm confused, sir. You're not a child, mommy. You're not a child. I don't get you, sir. Are you trying to tell me you don't know why I came by? Honestly, sir, I don't know where all this is heading to. Who's the gentleman anyway? He is called Derek. Yes, and? He's my ex. I, I know him from way back. And you guys were having sex? Yes. And you know you owe me, right? Miss, Mr. Ankara. This one is not a Mr. Ankara issue. We agreed. But we didn't agree on what exactly I owed you. Exactly. So if I come to your room, a room that I paid for, and I see you giving it to someone else, what do you expect me to think? M Mr. Ankara, I'm confused. Giving what to someone else? I can take care of you, mommy. Sir, I, I can't have sex with you. Besides, Ifwa is my friend. Ifwa is not your friend. You just got to know her through me. So what do you mean by she's your friend? Sir, this is very uncomfortable. Look, I don't want to see you ever doing that again. Have you heard? From this minute on, we have a relationship. I will forgive you, however. I'm in town for the weekend. Don't tell if I'm here. What? Mr. Ankara? Mommy, I came to town because of you. And don't forget, I have to send your friend back to jail. Oh, sir. Yes. So listen, I can't come to the hostel again. I don't want any of the students seeing me hanging around there. So come to my hotel room at 10 p.m. this evening. I I'm sorry, sir, but I, I can't. I, I can't have sex with you. I, I can't do this to you for. I've heard you. No problem. Um, ho hold on it for a second. When I declined Mr. Ankara's request, he put me on hold and called the judge who was on Sandra's case. Hello? Mr. Ankara? Judge Samson. Good evening, sir. Good evening. How's the family? Oh, everybody's fine. By God's grace. We thank God. We thank God. You know the lady has defaulted on the first payment? Ah, I told you. Yes, she has. So I want her rearrested tomorrow morning and sent back to prison. Maybe this time, if she's placed on remand, um, she will learn some sense. Uh, don't worry. I will speak to the commander to have her picked up in the morning. It's not a problem at all. Thank you very much. So we'll talk in the morning. Hello, mommy. So that's it. Oh, sir. But this is not fair. This is blackmail. Ah, Mr. Ankara, this is all not cool. Ah, Sandra has a seven-month-old baby. That is not my problem. If you tell this to Ifua, the consequences will be different. Good night. Right before my eyes, Mr. Ankara drew the judge's attention to Sandra's default payment. Even for me, I knew he was going to discontinue paying my school fees. Sandra wasn't my problem at this point. So, I was torn in between opening my legs to this man or ignoring him. In the meantime, Derek and Ifwa had a date. Hmm. You look good though. Thanks, you look good too. So what really brought you to town? Um, a few years ago I would have lied to you, you know. <laughs> really? Why would you say that? Oh yeah, I would have, for real. Um, I would have so lied about it. <laughs> but not anymore. <laughs> okay, now I'm lost. Explain. Why, did something change you? Um, yeah, just... You know, just a lot of bad experiences. Okay, do you mind sharing? Um, not at all. Uh, okay, so a couple of months back, I used to date this girl. Um, she's also in uni. I'm sure you probably heard about the two students that were shot. Ah, are you talking about Mommy and Joey? Yes. Oh, you know them? Not Joey, but I know Mommy. Ah, wait. Don't tell me. Are you Mommy's Derek? Yes, I am. What the fuck? Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, am I that popular? Oh my god, you're Derek. Jesse Mami Lindsay's Derek. Yes, or did I give myself away too quickly? Wait, 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 wait. So you came to town to see Mami? Yep. 
Have you seen her? Yes, I did. But we kind of had a misunderstanding, so you know, I'm leaving. Oh my fucking goodness! I cannot believe this. You you are still in shock. <laughs> okay, like I'm literally going to explode. First off, I want a selfie with you. If one was starstruck, she couldn't believe she was sitting with Derek. It seems people in the school really followed my story. But in the midst of all this excitement, I was praying Derek doesn't mention Mr. Ankara. <laughs> well. I don't know. I was such a big deal. Do you have any idea the number of people who will come here if they had Derek? Mama's ex was in town. You guys are like superstars here. Oh. Wow. It seems like I've been missing out. Okay. So wait. Why did you guys fight? Ah, wait. Have you been to her hostel? Because she was living with me for a while. That's coincidental. Just such a small world. But why are you fighting with her? Should I call her for you? Oh no, no. Please don't. I don't think I want to speak to her again. Oh why? Look. I tried to get us back together, but the girl is just going to get herself raped again. Oh, why would you say that? Maybe you should talk to her later and probably advise her. Um, I don't want it to be like I'm washing her dirty linen in public, you know. But that girl has turned herself into a prostitute again. The same thing that got her raped is exactly what she's doing again. Honestly, I'm trying to understand what exactly happened because Mummy hardly talks to any guy here unless she's doing something I'm not aware she's of. She's definitely doing a lot you don't know. She wants me to pay her before we have sex. Like seriously, Mummy wants you to pay her before you have sex with her. Are you for real? Why do you have some deal with her or? Cuz I know she needs money. But if you need money, must it be through sex? Would would that mean anyone who offers you money will get to fuck you? Wow. This is so surprising to hear. Like I'm so shocked. Don't be. That's that's exactly how she got herself raped. Do you know what I did for mommy even when I hadn't seen her before? Derek, wait. Calm down. This is weird. I need to talk to her. No. Don't waste your time before. Your friend is just a prostitute. And trust me, someone is going to rape her again. Oh, Derek, don't say that. You know what? Just spend one more night in town. If you can, okay. Let me reach out to her and see what I can do. Because I'm finding it hard to believe that mommy is sleeping around for money. Ifwa, we were having sex like a few hours ago. Oh wow! Yes, after she had taken three k from me, she says if I want to have sex, then I have to pay. So you paid her? Not for the sex, but because I knew she needed money. And that's not all. Guess what? What happened? Someone knocks on the door, right? An elderly man, old enough to be her dad, is at the door. Clearly it seems she had something to do with the man. An elderly man? Why? I I don't know. How? But it looked like the man was there for sex. Like some client of hers or something. But because he saw me he flipped. Wow, Derek. I need to talk with mommy. For real because all these things you're saying are very new to me. Listen. I don't think you know that girl very well. Very soon you understand me. You chill, okay? Let me talk to her. But promise me you will stay for one more night. I I have a spare room at my place if you don't mind staying at mine. Well, I could use some company. I'm good. Let's just enjoy dinner and get out of here, okay? Interesting. Very interesting. Derek told Ifwa one side of the story, but it's all good. They both drank a lot that night. Ifwa had this weed toffee. She took any time she wanted to go crazy. So she had a bit of it. And then of course, what was meant to happen happened. Uh, when they both uh, got home, uh, 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 Ifwa fucked Derek. 